let's talk about what you can expect from May. Uh, we are in Taurus season. This is a slow period for you, a slow season for you. Uh, but you have to understand that this is a little time to recharge your batteries. Because after Taurus season, we enter your season, the Gemini season, and then it's full speed ahead and it's so fast paced it's so quick you love it but you need to recharge your batteries before that so use this Toro season so that you can relax you can be at a slower pace you can recharge batteries you can smell the roses you can you can have be excited that outside is spring you can go outside in nature and you can take full advantage of nature but this is um, this is an interesting month for you because you have to keep your mind on only the things that you can actually do in reality <laughs> and this is fun and challenging for you because you you like to daydream you like to every opportunity you like to jump on it and you like oh this is actually it may work i may do that and you're you're multitasking you're doing 101 million <laughs> different projects all of the time but during May it's challenging for you to be effective just because you have 1 million things going on and you have a lot of things going on and you have to be on top of them and you have to be in charge and organize and so on and so on so keep your mind only on the things that you can do that's it just be as effective as possible uh, this is uh, the, the, the Taurus season until the 21st of May is a period when you can, as we said, chill and slow down a little bit, but it's also a time to refresh your contact list, refresh your social uh, network, your social media, your, your public um, your public connections because once we go into your season the 21st of may then you're going to expand your contacts again <laughs> but we're going to talk about this a little bit later uh the 5th of may we have a full moon uh, and lunar eclipse in scorpio so this is challenging for you this is challenging for you because um you are required to face dark the darkest and most extreme parts of yourself and this is challenging because gemini usually try to be airy and above the things and being super intellectual and objective and and flexible and here we have a super <laughs> super deep and transformative sign of scorpio that is not flexible at all and they're asking you to go deep and to 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 transform and this is not exactly easy for you but it's 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 you have to you must do it uh it's challenging and it's difficult but it's difficult for, for absolutely everybody um so with your season from the 21st of may again happy season happy birthday to all gemini's uh it's your season and things are finally at your speed things are finally at your required driving if you're the driver you're actually excited because the car is now driving at the speed you would like the speed that is comfortable to you and it's the time to maximize your potential because as I say always, <laughs> you're the fish in water right now, you're feeling the vibe, you're feeling the energy, everybody's feeling you. So put out all of your ideas out there, maximize your potential, maximize your social contacts, your networks. This is a very uh, informative, very social season, as you know. So maximize that and you're going to meet a lot of new people. A lot of new information will come your way. A lot of new opportunities will pop up, new projects that you can be on, new ideas that you can you can you can have. So it's just a lot of information. It's just a lot of like new people and new 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 things. You can use the time until the 21st of May, until uh, your season starts, to beautify yourself uh, as you would like. Make yourself as beautiful as healthy as possible. Make because Taurus sees and Taurus is connected with beauty and all five senses. Also, Taurus is connected with the voice. So you can use 
until the 21st of, of May, your season, you can, uh, you can, how to say, you can understand that your voice is a tool, especially to Gemini, <laughs> your voice is a tool and your voice and your, your way of, the way you use words is very impactful to people. So during the Taurus season, you can actually uh, maximize this potential because you can learn or you can improve your words, you can enrich your vocabulary, you can um, make your voice more beautiful, you can use more beautiful words, you can um, learn how to um, communicate with more impact, but also communicate in a very beautiful, charming way. Uh, so that when a Gemini season starts, uh, you will be, first of all, beautiful, just physically, uh, also inside you'll be feeling uh, healthy and happy and, and beautiful also, but also you're going to use your voice because you, you, you will meet a lot of new people and there is going to be a lot of new information coming your way. So you need to be your best self, your best version. Um, uh, and you will, you will use your voice, you will communicate a lot. So you need to find ways how to be memorable when communicating with people and how to make a lot of impact just with a few words uh, or, or even it's a written communication how to write beautiful emails emails that are effective and practical but also beautiful this may be uh something that you've never thought about but it will it will be uh, a soft skill that will help you a lot throughout your life um a word of advice maybe or caution for Gemini your season is super fast-paced extremely quick extremely um, flexible also chaotic be careful how you recharge your batteries be be um, be strict with yourself about your sleep routine uh, about your me time uh, how you go exactly how you go to sleep how you um, detox your mind your body and stuff like that because this you are a very highly wired individual and you are going to be in a season that is very highly wired very um, nervous energy fast paced very quick so you need to know and practice how to turn off your mind, like switch, how to sleep during the night, how you can rest as, 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 as well as you can, and how you can maximize your time so that you can be re as rest, uh, how you can maximize your time to rest and live healthy. Nobody wants a burnout Gemini in their season because their season is so quick and so chaotic. You may love it and you may be waiting all year for it, probably you are, <laughs> because things are going your way finally, but just be careful, just don't forget that slowing down and relaxing and sleeping effectively, really sleeping, um, is healthy and is, is very good for you. Let's talk about cancer. Hey cancer, let's talk about what you can expect from May. This month is a harmonious month for you. We are in Taurus season and Taurus and Cancer are very harmonious energies. They work well together. They appreciate each other. They respect each other. So you are feeling very secure and warm and supported during uh, Taurus season and during this May. Uh, you feel like you are living on a slow pace, on a chill pace that you appreciate. It's not too quick, it's not too fiery, it's not too dramatic or emotional. You appreciate this uh, month and it's a harmonious month. You feel really supported, you feel warmth, you feel um, you feel like uh, this is an energy that is very stable and secure and that is the truth. You're, and you're feeling uh, more grounded, uh, which is great for you because you can relax <laughs> and you can uh, enjoy life. And um, uh, 
So on the 5th of May, we have a full moon and lunar eclipse in Scorpio. This is a very transformative time for all of the signs, for, for, all, of, uh, for all of us, but especially for cancers, um, it may become too deep because you have to learn how to navigate and manage and transform negative uh, emotions and negative uh, experiences and, and situations and you have difficulties that's famous <laughs> cancers are uh, famous for uh, having difficulties like letting go uh, you usually uh, cling to the past you usually cling to the people you love even if they're in the past so it's difficult, it's very difficult, it's very challenging for cancers to let go. They can learn their lesson, but they're not going to let go. And they, they're not going to put it, you, you know the phrase, put it behind you. <laughs> they're not putting it behind you. They're, it's, they're, that's their baggage and their luggage and it's right there next to them, with them. So with this, um, on the 5th of May, full moon, lunar eclipse in Scorpio. That's why I'm saying it can become too deep. It's not because you're afraid of, of the deep. It's not because it's too much or it's too emotional. You have difficulties letting go. And you have difficulties um, saying goodbye to the past. And, and you are feeling super nostalgic. You may be feeling super nostalgic around the 5th of May, um, a lot of things from the past may stir up and you may realize that you have to let go and you have to, you have to make peace, you have to put it behind you and you have to move forward. And it's just something you have to do because you cannot continue forward if you cannot look ahead and continue forward if all you're doing is looking back to see what has happened before you're focusing on the past and you should focus on the future and you should focus on the present also um that's why i'm saying it may be a little bit too deep because of this of this difficulty and challenge for cancers to let go um and on the 7th of may venus is entering cancer uh, Venus, the planet of love and beauty, is entering your sign and you are feeling more beautiful than ever, charming, fun, excited, uh, powerful, um, and loving, caring, and you're feeling like an Af Aphrodite is. Uh, but the best thing about this is that the other people around you are seeing you the same way they are seeing you as this loving romantic caring person that is just full of love and is it just wants to give love uh and to be loved and it's a very lover energy uh you'll, you'll be feeling it throughout the whole month uh because of this venus in cancer and you'll be feeling great you'll be feeling very attractive and that will attract people to you and it will attract situations to you because you feel very attractive and you feel great um it may be great for you if you have some um self uh renovation <laughs> if i can say so uh just a little uh have a new have a new hairstyle or a haircut buy new clothes buy new makeup try a new thing try a new makeup try something new so this can be very fun for you and it also be very successful you might uh you might put yourself together in your best look or your best outfit but <clears throat> you have a lot of time with this venus and cancer to do that so you'll be feeling your best but it's even better if you try to beautify yourself, to beautify your surroundings, to beautify the people around you, the, the space uh, around you. And this will just radiate from you. This love and this excitement, it will just radiate from you to, towards other people. Um, on the 20th of May, we have uh, Mars entering Leo. Uh, this for you will be a lot, this will be connected a lot with self-love and self-expression. Um, sometimes cancers feel so much and they get so loving towards, to, towards other people that they forget to love themselves. And they find that loving themselves 
respecting themselves, uh, expressing themselves even, is probably the most difficult job, the, diffi the most difficult thing they have to do. So, with, from, from the 20th of May forward, uh, it may be... It also may, uh, it, it may be almost karmic lesson uh, or, or different karmic lessons about how to love yourself, how to take care of yourself, how to be your biggest supporter, your biggest soldier, your biggest fighter, because nobody else will, will be um, this hype man, the biggest hype man that, that you have for yourself. You have to do it for yourself. And this is something that may, some cancers may struggle with this because they may, might feel like this is selfish and self-centered and arrogant. But it, there is a difference between that and healthy self-confidence and healthy self-love and self-worth. And with this Mars and Leo, you'll be feeling that and you'll be, and you'll be walking on this path between selfishness and, and, and self-confidence, healthy self-confidence, arrogance and um, um, self-worth. So you'll be walking this path and uh, the best, my best advice the only thing I can think of is just don't go to extremes. Be balanced, be harmonious, and um, put yourself first. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Uh, the 21st of May, sun is entering Gemini. We're in Gemini season. And this is a very interesting energy for you, a very interesting period for you, because Gemini's uh, energy and Cancer's energy usually don't work very well together. They're very different and they don't mix well together. But, but during this period, you have a moment to, to rise above all the emotions, all, all of your emotions. And because this is a very intellectual energy, this is a very objective um logical energy so you have you have a little period in this uh, gemini season you have a little period of time when you can be logical and, ob and objective and above matters and intellect and, and and smart and witty and you can be selfish and take care of yourself but you're putting logic over heart and this is something that cancers Usually they never do, they never do that. So uh, during this this period, this is an amazing period of time from the twenty first of May forward to have very logical and smart decisions made uh, to have answers to questions, smart answers to questions that maybe you couldn't answer before. Maybe you didn't know how to answer them, but answers will come up. Uh, you will, you will, you will, um, you will think of things that are very um, outside of the box, very interesting and out, uh, non-orthodox, and you will meet a lot of inspiring people. A lot of inspiring ideas will will go around you because it's a busy energy. It's very busy energy. Uh, it, 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 a lot is happening, but. You may be feeling that this is too chaotic and too changeable. Gemini is a mutable sign. It's a, it's a, a flexible, adaptable sign. And it's a very quick sign. This is a very quick season. And you may be feeling like you need more rest, you need more sleep, you need just whatever you're doing to rest yourself, you need more of it because you may be feeling more exhausted than, than usual. But this, this season, may bless you with a lot of logic, uh, with a lot of great ideas, smart ideas, because you're putting logic over heart, which usually you never do. Have a great month. Let's talk about Leo. Hi, Leo. Let's talk about what you can expect from this May. This month, you're feeling it's starting uh, great because you're feeling a lot of fresh energy. It's spring, there's sunshine, you're feeling excitement and you're feeling the, the energy and the momentum and you're full of initiative, you're full of action. You are a sign that don't just think about things, they execute. So Leo is a very... Um, 
to me, Leo is a boss energy. Uh, that's that's how I, I feel. Th that's how I feel about Leo. So uh, it's a boss energy. It's an, uh, uh, um, a person who executes their plans and ideas. Doesn't just overthink. Doesn't daydream a, uh, a lot about it. Um, they need realistic dreams <laughs> and how to execute them. So Leo is feeling the momentum. Is feeling the month. Uh, the only thing. The only thing that. I believe I should say, <laughs> is to really be thinking before acting, don't act impulsively because your impulsivity and your, and your fire and your passion may be too much. You may make mistakes because of your over-optimism, because of your uh, energy at the moment, because of your passion, but stop and think and rethink and and uh there there was a saying uh measure three times cut one <laughs> cut one time so don't be usually i've noticed leos have this tendency of just getting so excited about an idea that they get so excited that they won't do it right away they're impulsive they're doing it and um, they execute the plan uh, and a, a little bit of time goes by, they see that their idea is not really working out the way they want. Their plan is not, it's not great, it's working, but it's not working as they would like. And so they go back and change it and they go have another plan and they execute it and change it and so on and so on. And, so on. and this is like a vicious circle that I've noticed that Leos do because they get so excited of the of the uh, of the idea of of like yes I know what I have to do I don't need anybody I can do it myself I know how to do this and it's not that you cannot do it it's not that you're not smart enough it's just don't do impulsive things that then you have to redo twenty times because because you didn't think it as precisely as you should have. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so stop, think, ask other people for, ah, this is the other thing. Sorry. <laughs> this is the other thing that I wanted to, to talk about because this is something that is going to be a, a, a difficulty throughout Leo's entire life, but especially during May, it, come, it comes up. Um, that your success in all areas of your life really depend on your capacity to hear people, other people, people's out, um, other people's ideas and, and opinions. And Leos usually have an amazing, warm, huge, generous heart, but sometimes they may they may feel to, to others that they are know-it-alls, they, they don't want other people's opinions, they know how to do it. Some people might, might call them um, control freaks because they don't let other people with their ideas come up. And Leo's, as I said, to me it's a boss energy, <laughs> it's an execute, uh, uh, this is the energy of, of somebody who executes. Uh, so Leo's usually when they think of something, they're like, yeah, I've thought about absolutely everything. and. One thing is the impulsivity of just acting and executing uh, to manage that first. And second, you really need to hear people's ideas and opinions. Uh, sometimes it, it may not be worth it. Sometimes the ideas and opinions may not, you may not like them. But sometimes people might, dis might, might surprise you in the best way possible. So you need really to open your ears and really listen to people um, and, and ask them logical questions, ask them exactly, ask them the questions to get the answers you, you, you want and it will be a great process for you. Um, so on the 5th of May, uh, we have a full moon uh, lunar eclipse in Scorpio. And it's a transformative time for absolutely everyone, but for Leo, it may be specific, especially challenging because it may get too dark, too depressing, 
Because the point of the point the point of this <laughs> full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio is to transform negative into positive, weaknesses into strengths. Um, and for Leo, sitting alone and and soul searching um, can do a lot of good, can help Leo a lot, but also can be incredibly scary. It can be lonely. Uh, Leo's Contrary to the popular belief, <laughs> Leos are their worst critic. They're very critical. And if they're very critical to other people, they're one million times more critical to themselves. So it might be very helping, this, this, this full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio on the 5th of May. It may be very helping, it, it may be very uh, transformative, but it also can be very scary and lonely. And Leos can maybe feel like, start feeling like um, they're the only ones with issues, they're the only ones who have negative sides and weaknesses, and um, it's, it's, it's too dark, it's too, too deep, it's too depressing, and there is no way out. And my advice to all Leos is just to always remember that they are the sun in astrology. They are uh, a Leo, the king of the jungle. And um, if it's too dark and uh, there is, the Leos cannot seem, uh, they cannot find a way out, they cannot see it, they cannot see the light, to remember that they are the sun and they are the light. It, it may sound very stupid, <laughs> but it is the truth. Um, as uh, if you've seen, there is a movie, Stardust, uh, there is a, one of my absolute favorite lines, um, what, what do stars do? They shine. And this is Leo's superpower, their shine, their, their star power, their sunshine. And this is the way that Leos can, can go through a lot of difficulties and a lot of challenges in their life because they're, they find their own superpower and they find their own sunshine inside of them. Um, and yes, it can be lonely and it can be depressing and, and, and scary, but it's also very helping because Leos can grow this way and Leos can transform and can be uh, healthy transforming <laughs> in a healthy way. <laughs> uh, on the 20th of May, Mars is entering Leo. Mars is the planet of war. So action, uh, sex drive also. Uh, so when it's uh, entering your sign, you are feeling more motivated. You're feeling passionate and fiery and direct and things are finally moving with the speed you would like. You're feeling the fire. You're feeling this excitement um, and and this, this just rush of energy. But, <laughs> but, you may seem to other people that you are just too much. You're too aggressive. You're too argumentative. You're too bossy. You're too uh, much drama. You're too much... Uh, you're too passionate. You're too fiery. You're too much everything that is associated with Mars, the god of war. You just may seem to other people that you're just ready to fight everybody and you you just pick a fight every everywhere with everyone without a, a reason just because you want to so be careful with your fire be careful with your enthusiasm and and bossiness if i may say that just because it may not translate in the best way to other people you may feel like, you, you may feel great and you may uh, be very excited about things and you should, you should be, but just the translation to other people might be the problem. So be careful about that. Be careful about the, your impatience also, as we talked about <laughs> in the beginning. Um, and on the 21st of May, Sun is entering Gemini. We're entering uh, Gemini season. 
And this is a lot of fun times for you, a lot of fun times for you because Gemini season is usually connected with uh, very sociable energy, a lot of new people, a lot of new opportunities, maybe new travels, new new learnings of like new, new information coming to uh, your world, but it's also incredibly chaotic and very busy, incredibly busy. So you may, you may really love it, but at the same time, you may feel like, okay, that, that's too much people, too much society. I cannot, <laughs> like I, I need, I need one night and to sleep and not go out and not socialize and not meet new people and not be extremely charming and fun and sociable. And that's great. Take care of yourself, love yourself and have a great month. Let's talk about Virgo. Hi Virgo, let's talk about what you can expect from this May. This May you are feeling very hopeful, you are feeling the spring, you are feeling the season and you're feeling very optimistic, you're starting very optimistic, very hopeful, very enthusiastic with, with a fresh new spring uh, energy uh, to, to start. Um, you have, you may be feeling frustration with uh, lack of progress uh, somewhere in your uh, some area of your life it may be work it may be your love life it may be uh, your studies but you're feeling a lack of progress that you should overcome if you would like to succeed you should overcome it how you can overcome this frustration with uh, no no progress with the no progress challenge yourself with new horizons open your mind meet new people learn new things have new information, uh, have more information, and that way you are going to challenge yourself and challenge your mind to open up and be thinking more. What do I mean? You, because of this frustration with lack of progress, you may be focusing only on this this thing in your life that is not progressing, that is staying stuck, you're, you're doing everything you can but nothing is happening, nothing is moving forward and you're feeling, you may be feeling very, mm, maybe, you're, maybe you're, you, you may even be losing a little bit of hope in that area of your life. But, but when you challenge yourself to open your mind, uh, for example, you may travel, uh, you may meet new people, you may go to another country, you may start a new short course or start learning something that you, you've never learned before and just take your mind off this thing that has no progress and just move your mind, <laughs> uh, refocus your mind so that your mind has something else to to learn something else to be excited about. So this is very exciting to you because you're feeling, you are feeling great about this. Um, and it may also, you may also be feeling um, very curious, um, very eager to learn, eager to have new friends, new opportunities, uh, to have new information. Um, so on the 5th of May, we have a full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio for Virgos. It's a, a time with both very positive and negative sides. Uh, it's a time for, 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 for Virgos to find a lot of answers, a lot of soul searching, a lot of answers. And it, it is a very transformative time to all the signs, but for Virgos, it may be a lot of answers, a lot of soul searching. It, this, this might be the positive. The negative, Virgos are famous for being one of the most critical and self-critical signs uh, in the zodiac. And being this soul searching and having a transformative experience like that, that you, this, this full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio is about transforming, transforming negative into positive weaknesses into strength. So having this incredibly critical um, part of you, you may be feeling very self-critical 
or critical to your life, critical to your situation, your job, your friends, whatever it is. And you may start feeling more depressive or even even self-pitying, becoming the becoming you becoming a victim and victimizing yourself and your life and just to have that victim mentality. And this is the negative side that you may go into. It's not uh, it, 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 it's not something that all Virgos will do, but it's a possibility. <laughs> it's a possibility that uh, when you start thinking about and analyzing your life, you may go into this victim mentality, go into this um, lack mindset, um, ho losing hope, frustration, and that's not the point. <laughs> That's not the point of this uh, full moon lunar, lunar eclipse in Scorpio. The point is to find a lot of answers that you 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 for your questions to so search to to self uh, analyze to self observe um, and to transform. Uh, and Virgos are a mutable sign, so they can change. They they can change and adapt, and they can move around. So it's not so challenging for them as to other signs, for example. But just the only the only issue is not to get stuck in this victim mentality, not to get stuck in the negative. Don't stay there. Move on. <laughs> Move on to the positive. Um, the 21st of May, Sun is entering Gemini. We are uh, entering the season of Gemini and you love this energy. You love this energy. Geminis uh, and Virgos are both ruled um, by Mercury, the planet of communication and information. So this is uh, the, 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 the difference is <laughs> the difference is that a Gemini is an air sign and Virgo is an, an earth sign. So you love this. You love this energy. Um, it's a very social, fun, adaptive, quick, flexible, new information, new people, critical thinking, logical over heart, um, logical, objective, in intellectual, uh, very smart and quick energy. And you love this energy. Uh, and a lot of new um, things, new people, new situations will come up, new opportunities. So you are going to be open for them, and you're going to see them. You're going to to you're going to see the opportunities everywhere they are. The the only downside, and we talked about Gemini's about this also, is that both Gemini's and Virgos, when they have this very uh, nervous energy come up, because it's so quick, it's so it's so fast, it's so smart that it's a very nervous energy. It's a very almost neurotic energy that Geminis and Virgos have difficulties turning off. They have difficulties turning off their mind so that they can have rest, they can sleep, they can they can really have time out and um, they have difficulties with that. So with, with Virgo during uh, Gemini season, because Virgo is uh, an earth sign, um, my advice, my suggestion is just to use your body. First, use your body and second, use nature. So if you want to um, chill your mind, to, to turn off your mind so that you can, you can recharge your batteries, you can relax, you can, you can sleep even, um, tire, tire your body. Use, use your body uh, in all sorts of exercises. Uh, use your body to, to move. Uh, you can do yoga if you like, meditation of some sort. But just go outside, run around, or even jump ju jump rope <laughs> inside um, of your apartment, for example. But just tire your body because you, the earth sign uh, that you are, uh, you will tire the nervous energy also. The second thing that I said, use nature. Uh, what I mean is Virgo is a, a nerd sign, so they are connected to nature. That's the uh, their season. Uh, that's their element, uh, uh, nature uh, and earth. So you can use nature to ground yourself. You can go on walks or hikes or you even go to the sea or around water and you can go around and just breathe and, and just 
even for a few minutes if you're uh, overwhelmed you can look outside and you can um, look at a tree or a, uh, or a flowers or something like that but use use nature so that you can ground yourself let's talk about libra hi libra let's talk about what you can expect from may this may you may have challenges in believing in yourself uh, Libras can be very, uh, they can be masters uh, in communicating and, and relationships with other people. Uh, in, in, they can be masters in the social circle of, of life, in the, in the, social, in the social sphere uh, and networking. Uh, and you may show a lot of compassion and empathy and, and patience and tolerance to other people. Uh, but when it comes to you, um, it may be very difficult to show compassion to yourself. And this is something that you will see uh, on the 5th of May. There is a full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio. And this is a very transformative time for all of us. But uh, especially for Li Libras, you're going to feel that transformation that is very challenging, but you cannot stop it. Uh, but for Libras, uh, you may look at your most negative emotions, um, your biggest weaknesses and negative sides and look at yourself and have absolutely no compassion and empathy and patience for yourself. So the moment you realize that everybody is a human being, including you, including you. You're not a perfect human being. You're just a human being. Um, so everybody has their moments and everybody has uh, to show compassion to themselves first. First, compassion and empathy. And then all of this tension that you're feeling will disappear, will melt away because you realize that, yes, you can give yourself a break a little bit. You can show compassion. You can believe in yourself. And then you will gain respect for yourself. You will gain self-love. Then, <laughs> then, um, a lot of a lot, the people will see the people around you will see that that you have regained your self-respect, self-worth, and self-love, and they will start respecting you, loving you, and thinking of you in a higher value kind of way so this everything has to do with just leaving your ego a little bit aside realizing that everybody makes mistakes including you nobody's perfect including you and just giving compassion and showing compassion to yourself be your biggest soldier be your biggest supporter but at the same time you have to be the one to be compassionate and be em empathetic and show yourself love when probably nobody else will show yourself patience and, and kindness maybe other people uh, and forgive yourself forgive yourself believe in yourself uh, and have that self-respect have that self-love that um, is actually is actually incredibly healthy um, so on the 21st of May, Sun is entering Gemini. We are entering Gemini season. And Gemini is an air sign like you. And you love this energy, you love this month, you love this season because it's a social air energy. It's a lot of new people, new things, new opportunities, new meetings, new ideas. Your creativity is brewing. Your ideas are popping out. You are charming, you're fun. You get... Usually Libras get um, get recharged by other people. They really need that, that social battery to be recharged. They need new uh, meetings with people. They, they meet new groups and so on, so on, and so on. Um, so you'll be feeling a lot of um, positive things uh, around and after the 21st of May. The only maybe a little bit challenging issue can be that both Gemini and Libra are because of because they're air signs, um, and this is uh, an intellectual logical season. Uh, you may seem to people a lot more logical than emotional, 
and some people might see your calmness, your your um, charm, your social grace as something as 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 coldness. Maybe some people might see that. Uh, they may say that maybe you're not showing your emotions, you're not feeling emotions, uh, you're cold, you have no heart, maybe, but. It's because of the season in your in your uh, sign. Your air signs are rationalizing emotions. They they don't really like to express them. Uh, so that's the difference. <laughs> and you, that's why I'm saying that this may come up as a, a challenge during the season of Gemini. Just having so having everything be logical and have everything be intellectual that the people around you may feel like you make decisions and you do everything based on your logic and you don't involve your emotions at all do you even have emotions and that may be the questions that people may be asking of you but you be you have a great uh, month and uh let's talk about scorpio now thank you for being with me